So there's the most recent filing. This is from special counsel John Durham. And he's uh, he's alleged and he's discovered that the Clinton campaign paid an outside tech firm to infiltrate servers belonging to Donald Trump, looking to put this narrative together that he was linking up with Russia and the Trump campaign to make sure that they were all linked and doing things in a certain direction when he was running for president. So as of right now, it's not really clear as to the level of accuracy of these allegations from Durham. But he did release a report and Trump is very thrilled by this news. Especially as he's seeing all the document ripping and document flushing news come his way. Uh, so this is what he had to say from his uh, Save America pack. Uh, so he says the latest pleading from special counsel Robert Durham uh, provides indisputable evidence that my campaign and president were spied upon by operatives paid by Hillary Clinton campaign in an effort to develop a completely fabricated connection to Russia. This is a this is a scandal far greater in scope and magnitude than Watergate. And my ripped up papers. And those who were involved and knew about this spying operation should be subject to criminal prosecution. Now, this is where it gets more intense. In a stronger period of time in our country, this crime would have been punishable by death. In addition, reparations should be paid to those in our country who have been damaged by this. Uh, reparations sudden came up in this guy's vocabulary. So, of course, everything that he believes has been uh, pushed against him should be resulting in death. Wait till we find out the things you have done, Donnie. I'm wondering if you'll think the same thing. Because I mean, our emails and also your papers and your shredding and your plans to to, to kidnap um, uh, election machines, all those things like that. Um, so there's also some, some conservative talk show hosts who are also doubtful about this bombshell. Let's watch this. It's curious to me that this Durham release comes on a Friday. If you want to bury news out of Washington, you release it on a Friday. This court filing came in not just on any Friday, but on the Friday of Super Bowl weekend. It seems like Durham maybe didn't want all of this to, to get much attention. Well, I don't read a lot into this, but I, I, I would say that as far as Durham is concerned, and a lot of Republicans, and especially the strongest Trump uh, supporters, a lot of them have been disappointed in Durham, uh, frankly, because I think they have expectations that are too high. There are some Trump supporters who will really not be happy unless they saw James Comey or Hillary Clinton being let out of a door in handcuffs, uh, and that's not going to happen here. So Byron York and Fox News aren't really buying the salaciousness of this release, especially the timing of it, David. So um, should they be? I mean, I'm still trying to figure out the validity here and who's pushing it and why. Well, there are two things. First of all, uh, allegedly, this, according to Durham's filing, this started in July of 2016. But if you go back to June of 2016, that's when Donald Trump Jr. <laughs> organized the meeting at Trump Tower with Russian operatives with the express intent of digging up dirt on Hillary Clinton. So the proof was already there that Donald Trump's campaign at least was working with the Russians to try to dig up dirt. Now, the Trump people would say, well, there's nothing wrong with digging up dirt on Hillary Clinton, right? And there may not be anything wrong with the Clinton campaign digging up dirt on Donald Trump. Uh, should they have been hacking into systems? I mean, maybe that's a sort of separate issue, but uh, but I, I think Byron York is, is correct. I mean, this isn't such a big deal. The expectations on the right are exceedingly high. And of course, with Donald Trump saying, oh yeah, people should be executed for this sort of thing. Okay, if execution is your preferred method of punishment for treason, <laughs> uh, Mr. Trump, would you like to be executed by firing squad, uh, electric <laughs> chair, or you know, I don't know, anything else? Because uh, there's so much that's there, as you point out, involving things that Donald Trump has done, which are arguably treasonous. Yeah, well, you know, as his brain always works, he can do anything he wants, but anyone does 10% of that and it's absolutely the worst punishable crime ever and they should face all those charges. Now, uh so one person who probably does agree with that is unsurprisingly Jim Jordan. Let's watch him respond to this. That that is what is so frightening here. You had the government working with the Clinton campaign to go after the Republican Party's nominee for president to spy on that campaign. We've never seen anything like this in history. So President Trump's statement yesterday, I think is right on target. This is truly unprecedented, truly something that has never happened in the history of our great country. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that Jim Jordan didn't read all four or five of those sentences in that statement. Because everything he said, let me just point out, it's unprecedented. The whole point is to build this thing up as something bigger. He doesn't have to read the few that one paragraph of a statement that Donald Trump or someone like him put out. It's just a matter of agreeing, agreeing. It's head nodding, it's head nodding. That's right, everything he said. Someone should have asked him, including the punishable by death. 
I mean, uh, President Trump said it, so I, yeah, sure. I'm a puppet. I'll go along with it. This is an elected official. We keep have to. I have to keep pointing out. These are elected officials who keep saying these types of things. Punishable by death. Something that, what you would expect from Fox News earlier along, who said this is pretty much nothing right now and it's been buried because they know it's nothing. You would think someone would ask him next. So what about this is so such a big deal? It doesn't matter. Donald Trump said it is. Kill someone. Yeah, and here's something that is a big deal. I mean, you know, Jim Jordan can say this is a big deal. To me, what's a big deal? And I think of it every time I think of, and I see Jim Jordan is, a, oh, I don't know, an assistant wrestling coach at The Ohio State University looking the other way when five or six wrestlers with the program are being sexually assaulted and sexually abused. Hmm, who would that be? Oh, yeah, Jim Jordan. Now, because of that, Jim Jordan, I don't think he should be punished by death. I wish there was an investigation into him, some sort of responsibility. But again, there's no context here. To your point, JR, anything that Donald Trump says, oh, yeah, it's a big deal. Oh, yeah, Donald Trump is right. I mean, that goes to show just sort of the, just what a psychophant Jim Jordan, some of these folks really are when they don't really even think for themselves and they their lack of self awareness is really, really astounding. Um, let's take a quick break, but really fast on that whole thing about sycophants in the Republican Party, because I saw a quick thing on Lindsey Graham, who was still pushing back on the things that Trump is saying is happening, but in the same breath was like, but Donald Trump's the most powerful Republican in the country, so we have to do whatever he says. Virtually, that wasn't the quote, but it's like he still doesn't like what he's doing, but I have to go along with it because he's Donald Trump. He's our master. It lets you know a lot about what our elected quote leaders think of their power to lead. Not very good.